This is for uh, string notes part four, the substring function or substra, str, uh, sub, str. Um, first of all, definition of substring. A substring is just a string that exists inside another string. For example, and, if we have the string bandstand, and is a substring of bandstand because it exists inside here. Um, band with a capital B is a substring, not B with a lowercase b. Stand is a substring. Tan is a substring. Uh, ta is a substring. The letter, the single string D is a substring. The entire word bandstand with a capital B is a substring. So that's all a substring. That's all that a substring is. Um, so we can create substrings from uh, other strings using this substra method. So to do that, we're going to say a dot, right? And this is called the calling string, right? This is the guy calling this function, sub. It's called the substring function. That's how it's spelled. And we can do it uh, two ways. We can send it a, a in, an integer. And what this will do is this will create a, a substring from index 4, right? Which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. From the S all the way to the end of the string. So that's going to return the string stand. Now I'm going to store it in another string. So now x, this will return stand, and x will store the word strand. And if I see out x, I'm going to get stand. There it is. Right? If I put a 0 here, I'm going to get the whole word band stand. If I put a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, to the end, I should get the empty string, which is a string with nothing. I'm sorry, I get the D. Oh, that's right, from this index on, so it would be D. Um, eight, and if I put six, I should get the word and. There we go. Okay, now there's also another substring where I send it to integers. For example, if I send it to 4, it's going to create a substring from the second index, 0, 1, 2. So it's going to create a substring from the n, and from that n, it's going to make, um, it's going to be a length of four characters from the n. So n, starting at the n, n is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it should be n, d, s, t. And that's returned, and it's stored in x. And let's just output it and check it. N D S T, and there it is. Uh, if I go from zero and go out, no, it's not. Again, it's not from this index to this index. It's from this index, and then from that guy, we start counting. In this case, three. So B. Starts at B because that's zero. B A N. Capital B, lowercase a, lowercase n, ban. There you go. If I go to five, two, right? It's going to go to index five. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. That's the T. And that's a length of two. So T A. Ta. There it is. And that's all. That's all there is is substring.